relationship and in our partnership. The agricultural sector is not only a fundamental component of our national economic activity, but it is also one in which our country is most competitive globally and has the highest employment multiplier effect. Agriculture also accounts for the incomes of two-thirds of Kenyans while agro-industry contributes 40% of manufacturing jobs and 48% of our GDP. Under the bottom-up economic transformation agenda, the government has committed to implement a value chain framework to invest optimally and achieve the greatest positive impact on agricultural productivity. The tea sector, in particular, holds immense potential in terms of local, regional, and overseas opportunities, and consequently, boosting the tea value chain, especially through optimal blending and branding of Kenyan teas, is a specific commitment under our agenda. We have a major opportunity to enhance the economic contribution of the tea value chain as a key foreign exchange earner and a significant contributor to Kenya's global market presence by raising the value of our tea exports beyond the current 1.1 billion US dollars. <clears throat> this increase, this will increase, sorry, the incomes of approximately 5 million Kenyans employed directly and indirectly in the tea value chain, including over 650,000 small-scale farmers across the KTDA and large-scale farmers associations. To actualize the full potential of tea, it is time to enhance both productivity and quality by adopting a modern technologies across the tea value chain from cultivating high value, climate resilient tea clones to employing the best practices in agronomy, plucking, processing, and marketing. Additionally, we must undertake training for our youth, especially those employed in the tea industry, in order to equip them with skills and knowledge on optimal tea husbandry practices and value added processing. Quality training involving deliberate investment in research and training resources is essential, while robust partnerships with organizations in the local and international space, public and private sector, are indispensable in facilitating the transfer of necessary knowledge and skills in the tea industry. I therefore appreciate and co commend the partnership between Lipton Teas and Infusions and various other entities to establish the Lipton Tea Innovation and Technology Academy as an exemplary initiative with highly transformative potential for Kenya, our region, and the tea industry at large. I recall that only last year, I held discussions with Lipton's corporate leadership in The Hague about the possibility of local value addition for Kenyan tea and the enhancement of national standards and organizational ecosystem for a sustainable and responsible tea industry 